I thought this FTK nonsense was done. This Draco Say FTK blows the last one out of the water. Holy fuck. If you're new to the channel, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button. If you're not new to the channel, I still want you to smash the subscribe button because you fucking weirdos aren't subscribed yet. On the last Draco Slayer FTK, we did something really cool. I believe it was release the greatest playmat of all time for one more day because it's in honor of playing a Draco Slayer deck. And we're doing the same again. Draco Slayer playmat back in stock 24 hours. Why? It's a Draco Slayer FDK. You gotta sell it. Doof, 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 doof. No, I'm not boxing. I'm dancing. This is this is my dance moves. And everyone can dance. You can play Yu-Gi-Oh. This is Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh dance. You're, you're, you're playing with your cards, like like you know, or or driving a wheel, or you can like like time travel. Also, probably looks like something else. But anyways, for this video, I'm gonna show you guys right now the best Draco FDK. Not best Draco. FDK. The best FTK in the history of you right here, right now. Get your Draco Slayer playing, man. Get your fucking beautiful Sleep Chief Sleep, Mighty Master OCG Sleep, Azergraph. Get them all, baby. Whatever floats your boat, OCG Sleep down in the description below. Anyways, let's get started in this video. Best FTK in the game, Draco Slayer FTK. Let's go. Just look at this. Look at the. Oh, oh my god. This FTK is, is. I just can't believe. There's no bricks in the deck, by the way. There, there's no bricks in the deck. Do you remember the last one? This is the only brick. Okay, this is... Okay, I, I lied, I lied. There's one brick. It's just Fusion Gate, but it's not a brick. This card is insane in this deck. Fusion Gate is like... Just read this card. It's not a brick. During the main phase, the turn player can Fusion Summon one Fusion Monster from the extra deck by banishing Fusion Materials mentioned on it from the hand or field. What, during the main phase, the turn player can Fusion... This card's insane. Like, this card is actually one of the most underrated field spells no one knows. During the main phase, the turn player can fusion summon a fusion monster from the extra deck by banishing fusion materials. Miss oh my god. Just look at this now, okay? Now, if you guys remember the last Draco Slayer FTK, who stay tuned to the end of the video! Because when you guys see this, it's gonna blow your mind, okay? Do you guys remember a bunch of like look, have we done anything weird so far? How have we gone out of our way? We just summoned two Ignisters. The last one only had one Ignister. The last Draco Slayer FTK utilized seven cards in the extra deck for the FTK. Really, five cards in that extra deck, and the other two were just like staples that you could use regardless this one instead of playing five or seven order plays fucking two and because of that it's absurd you can now fdk like nothing we use ripper darkness there to make it y'all see that y'all see did y'all just see that so what we did here is we use fusion gate and ripper darkness to make it so all we need is a machine and a pyro type and then machine and we turn this into a pyro with the effect of Reprodocus. Now, this card says once per turn during your main phase, you can inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each card in the field. Okay? Just keep this in mind. You're just playing no don't, don't, and don't say like, ha, huh, Nibiru, you lose, bro. Dude, if they had Nibiru, they fucking would have done and they'd be on the pendulum. So it's just normal pendulum shit, okay? Doesn't matter. So you know if you get this far, you're good. You know that if you get to the point of pendulum summon resolves, you win the duel. That's the, what this idea is. You could play Draco Slayers and put up five negates. And how many times have you lost to a Sphere Mode, Lava Glow, and Sphere Play, Dark Ruler, right? This just stops that. And you're not playing Bricks. There's no Bricks on the deck. Fusion Gate's actually good. It's fine. It's good. It's one Brick, per se. And if you hard draw the Fusion Gate, and you don't want to go for the FTK, you, that's the card you discard for Majesty Pegasus. There's, <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. Like, like, this card's nothing. It's irrelevant. No Bricks in the deck. And the extra deck, you play three. One Ripper Dockets, which is good in general, and two Blaze Phoenixes. That's it. And just 12 combos, like combo cards of Draco Slayers. So now we're going to use the effect, and we're going to burn for 2,400 points of damage because we have eight cards in the had eight cards in the field. The next play we're going to do, look at this, this is insane. So we have two, two Synchros, right? We're going to go into World Ocean Dragon Zelantis. Damn. For those who don't know what this card does, it's going to blow your mind. It says... During your main phase, you can banish as so many monsters in the field as possible, and then special summon as many monsters banished by this effect to their opponent's field. Next, you're going to go Dugaris. Summon back Blaze Phoenix a second time because it was properly fusion summoned via Fusion Gate. So at this point, you have one, two, three, four, five, six. You have seven cards in the field at the moment. So you can use the effect to burn for, se ba uh, burn for 700, seven, uh, 2100, 700 times three. So we did 2100, we did 2400. So at the moment, the opponent is at 3500 light points. So all we got to do now is resolve Blaze Phoenix two more times. We're going to use the effect of World Ocean, the special summoning everything back. This card makes World Ocean Dragon Zelantis makes all this possible. Now, not only are you going to be able to trigger Blaze Phoenix 
another time. But you're also able to trigger both Ignisters. So we're going to link to create space. I'm going to use both Ignisters here just for free. You have a machine and a warrior, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to use this effect for at the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we already did 4,500. We're going to do 8 times 3 is 24. 45 plus 24 is 60. <laughs> yeah, 6,900. Nice. And then we're 1,100 off at this point. Well, guess what? We just use Fusion Gate again. We just use Fusion Gate again. It's not once per turn. It's fucking absurd. So you send Dynamite, and you send the same Pyro that you just sent, like the Blaze Phoenix. And because Dynamite just happens to be a machine, crazy, you now turn those two into another. And this will be in total at 6,900. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 times 3 is 2,100. 9,000 points of damage. You can even play an Upstart Goblin. GG. No bricks in main deck whatsoever the one fusion gate you just discard off thing three cards in the extra deck now i'm gonna show you guys the deck list this, this ftk is crazy where can you find these crazy ftks the secret is i don't my boy jim and lundu we could get their spreadsheet where they created this amazing uh deck ftk with, as well as the last ftk it'll be in the description below go check out the spreadsheet the spreadsheet actually contains 43 Draco Slayer combos. So it's actually a great spot for all beginner of Draco Slayers to check out. Check it out. It's amazing. Shout out to them. Uh, also, shout out to Draco Slayer. Best deck. So if you look at this deck, look at the top 39 cards. They're just cards you should be playing regardless in this deck. Fusion Gate. If you hard draw it and don't want to go over the FTK, you just simply special summon Magic to Pegasus at any given moment in your turn. Whether it be through its own effect, through Dynamite, through Ignis, through Ignister, whatever the fuck and beyond the pendulum and then you just discard the fusion gate if you don't want to go for the ftk uh look at the extra deck and with cards like exchange going first like when you're post side deck it's just the easiest ftk of all time uh you still play double look double ignister dynister harbinger if you don't want to actually go for the ftk this card one two three four five six seven eight by the way so you can still go for the typical end board of, of this deck you can still go for harbinger dweller apeloza and you can still do all this shit regardless like even if you can't go uh, specifically for the FTK, the, you still go for a lot of negates. You go for Apeloza, Harbinger, and Dweller, and Apeloza for three, Harbinger, Dweller, always. Like, like bare minimum. Bare minimum. Like, it's not like it's like FTK, oh, I can't FTK, I lose. Let's say you get hand trapped into Oblivion. Let's say you get hand trapped into Oblivion, okay. You're still ending on Harbinger, guaranteed with Apeloza and Dweller, like through hand traps. So he has four cards in hand and has to deal with Harbinger, Dweller, Apeloza. When he can't even deal with one Apeloza with a few cards in hand because of all the hand traps he's using. So that's the idea behind this deck. And cards like Dugaris are just overall in general great for this deck. It just doesn't... Like, it's not made for this. So the only actual cards made for this FTK are Blaze Phoenix, which with Fusion Gate actually work, works incredibly well regardless. Even going second. Do you FTK with this deck going second? So what you do going second is enter battle phase with these. Like, look, this is 2800 attack. You could use your opponent's cards as well. Don't forget... It counts to your opponent's card. So going second, this card does... It did like 2,500 or something, 2,400 with your stuff. So with your opponent's cards, it'll probably do like 4,000. So enter battle phase, attack for like 2,000, 3,000 damage. And then just do this effect twice. GG. It's even easier going second, which is crazy. That's the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys got this far, why don't you guys smash the subscribe button. Check out the beautiful playmat down the description below. Check out the beautiful OCG sleeve down the description below. As well, check out the spreadsheet over here from my homies Jib and Lund. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.